Okay, folks, we're going to continue on with our next Java program. And this one's going to demonstrate for the first time the power of loops and how loops can be used in a program. And we're going to start by demonstrating um, just one loop that will find a sum of numbers uh, but starting at 1 up until the number that gets entered by the end user. So we don't know what the user is going to enter, but regardless of the number, it's going to sum from 1 all the way until that range. It's going to add all those numbers together. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, because this is getting input from the user, we're going to import the scanner. And right away, I'll uh, create a scanner object. Now, this particular problem, it doesn't ask for separate classes. Um, so you can put the main method right inside of this class here, and that would be fine for this particular problem. So we'll do that. Go ahead and put the main method in. Since we're just demonstrating loops, we don't need to make it any more complex than what we need to do. Um, so we imported scanner. Let's create a scanner object. We'll call it keyboard. And right away we'll ask the user please enter a number. So the program can find the sum from 1 up to that number. We'll go ahead and uh, declare a variable as an integer for the number entered. And set number entered equal to keyboard dot next integer. Write a couple comments here. This is a variable to hold a number entered by the user. Scanner object. We can put this above. Here's the loop. For the first time, we'll show the power of the loop. We'll say while. We're going to start off a control variable, so that's what we're missing. We're going to start our control variable, integer control equal to zero. While the control, let's start it off at one, and you'll see why here in a moment. While the control is less than the number entered, We're going to declare a total, so we have another variable for total, total plus equals control. Now the error that we're having here, if you read it, it says the local variable total might not have been initialized. Anytime you have an accumulator variable, it's good practice to initialize it at zero. So that initializes that, that makes the error go away. And one slight logical error that I see is that I'm only going up to less than the number entered. We're going to start at 1 up till it's less than or equal to for the total. And 
to test our math, we're going to output the total variable. Print line, the total is plus total. All right, so let me go ahead and run this program and check it. I'm going to start off with a small number here. Please enter a number so it can sum from 1 to that number. I'll just say 3 because you got 1 plus 2, which would be 3, plus 3 should be 6. And I've got an error. The error is that we don't increment control. Like we talked about, what actually happened there was an infinite loop because we never increment control. So each time through the loop, we need to say control plus plus. So that was a perfect example of an infinite loop that would continue to loop because control always stayed at 1 and it's always going to be less than the number entered. So we had no way of breaking out of the loop, which caused that problem. Now if we run it again, let's try it. We have the total is 6. Let's try it again with a slightly lar larger number. I'll tell you what, we'll just do 5. Again, we can do the math in our head. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 5 should be 15. So you want to test this several times on all sorts of numbers and make sure the math comes out right.